Hi, Richard. Good to see you again. I'm Greg Mantel from The Greg Mantel Show. Hi, how are you? I actually interviewed you back at the inauguration, Obama's inauguration at the okay. ball. The last time I saw you, you were wearing a tuxedo. I was. Yeah. So I look better today. <laughs> yeah, you're a little spiffier. I know, and it's a better fit than whatever rented tuxedo I had on the day. But you also misled me. You promised you were going to back, come back with a drink with us because you were going into the party and we were stuck outside the cold interviewing people, and you never came back with a drink. Which, uh, which party was this? <laughs> the Creative Coalition inaugural. Oh, the actual Creative Coalition. I went out about seven times looking oh. for you. <laughs> I see. I you remember know. it well, actually. I do. <laughs> I did. I went out looking for him. It was my fault. My bad. You went around the corner to score something. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> hmm. see, I got him. So, um, you're out here today again with the Creative Coalition supporting their art and so Now, were you you were singing your ABCs in there? Or? I did. I did sing ABCs. I did. Are you a good singer? I, I'm a really good singer. I just I just forgot the words a lot. <laughs> forgot the words. <laughs> that's, that's that's a problem when I'm singing. I just can't remember the lyrics. Uh, I don't know what it is. No, it's a lot of fun. You need more. You mean a lot of kids to teach them to you? More kids. Uh, yeah, well, I need, my, I need my, my kids to teach to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what I forgot? I forgot that it's supposed to stop. Like, w, oh, wait, uh, Q, R, Q, R, S. I forgot that. So the first time around, I went Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. And then I got lost. The end date, yeah. It, I, I, I never remembered that when I was young. <laughs> so you, you got pretty far down the line. They had to teach me the stop, 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 and then now you know your ABCs worked. Because uh, otherwise it was all off of its meter. You know what I'm saying? Did you play an instrument or bang on the drums or anything too? No, I had two letters. Oh. Uh, I and F. You know, it looks like something else. Your cameraman's laughing at me because it looks like if no, yeah. if there was no sound right now, you would think I was describing yeah, someone yeah. I met. <laughs> but that's not the case. I had two letters I was playing with. It was the letters I and F. They have no connotation other than what the letters mean. <laughs> Tell your cameraman to go like you know, clean as clean as act up. Yeah, it, yeah, it's the same way at DC. I have, a, I, have a, I have characters for cameramen all the time. You know, it's he's got to clean his act up and go wash out his brain with soap. Um, the I and the F, which is the word if, because it was too many letters to hold the word imagine. Because that's really what I wanted to do. So if, if we, if we, if then, you know, I like the word if. Was Mr. Daly a good director? He, we know I forgot that he was even directing. Oh, okay. Because we Is were that good or bad. Like, it was like we were in a playpen, and we were, you know, was, we were six. Ah. So it was, it was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. I, I'm, I'm glad to have uh, come in and helped out, and sung. And you wrote in the book about what art means to you, or what it's meant to your life, or something like that, or? Uh, yes, in the photography book. Yeah, yeah. yeah from a while back. Okay. Yes. Okay. No. Yes, I did, and then gave a little speech in there about it as well. Well, since we've got the Oscars coming up here around the corner, anybody you're excited about this year? I'm hoping that I win. That's what I'm pulling for. In which category are you nominating yourself in? I don't remember, but I, I just hope I win. I'm, uh, you know, anything can happen in sport. Well, I, you get my vote. How's that? You know, I haven't seen enough, but I, I, I really loved Hurt Locker. I know there's controversy around that film, mm. but I think it was the film that most uh, moved me. So, uh, in terms of being blown away by the work and um, uh, I think that Catherine did a phenomenal job and um, Renner what's his name the actor For, I'm sorry which the lead actor in Hurt Locker oh you know I haven't seen Hurt Locker that's one of the few I haven't seen is it Jeremy Renner oh, Jeremy? that sounds right yeah I think you're right yeah yeah uh, I apologize because I don't I haven't met you so I don't remember the name but he's fantastic is he nominated I know the movie is. I, I have know. to. Yeah. We have two people yeah. talking about the Oscars who have not even. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. Is it, what, what, what's Avatar? Has anybody heard of Avatar? No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I actually hope that a movie that has all live people uh, wins. Um, yeah. But I thought Avatar. And, and was smaller cool. pictures too. You know, not just. I mean, no, nothing against Avatar, but you know, well, but Avatar ever. Avatar is easy to make because you have James Cameron and a wonderful concept and, and a billion dollars. And, and Avatar, <laughs> by the way, is a really good film, mm. really excellent film, and very deserving of all the money it's making and all the attention. But uh, I tend to root for the films that seem impossible that they ever got made. Well, like Precious, I wonder how a film like that got made, you know? Well, I wonder how Her Locker got made, to be honest. And, uh, and so that's why, that's why uh, um, I root for a movie like that. 
Well, it's good to see there is still quality, you know, in the movie business. Quality movies are being made, you yeah, know. There's one or, commercial. Two, one or two every decade. Yeah. And what about you? Now, last time I checked in with you, you were going to Broadway, I think, and I know you have the series Past Life. Um, what's what's going on now? Well, Past Life has, has thankfully, a past life oh. now, <laughs> which is uh, which is something that I'm f uh, fine with. Uh, it wasn't uh, what. Uh, we anticipated it to be, and um, and so I'm glad that uh, we gave it a shot, and now it's gone. So, I'm looking. Uh, I'm, I'm on the verge of uh, of uh, possibly getting involved in a, in a couple of very fascinating projects. Broadway is happening next season. Oh, okay. Uh, Robin, and what's it going to be? Do you know yet? It's, it's Tally's Folly by Lanford Wilson. It's oh. a Pulitzer Prize winning play. This is his very first Broadway revival, and it's myself and Robin Wright Penn. Oh, wow. So, uh, and I'm ecstatic because it took forever for us to figure out a time when we can both do it. And um, uh, I love her to death, and so I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic, and she's perfect for that play. And Lanford is going to be involved in it, and the original director, Marshall Mason, and uh, so we're all very excited. Well, congratulations. Looking forward to that and your next project. And looking forward to seeing you again in one of these Creative Coalition events. Well, that'll happen very soon, I'm sure. But thank you. Nice to see you. Take care.